In this area, we hear a lot about uh, prostate cancer. Now, when somebody has prostate cancer and they come for a consultation because they've heard that provision proton therapy is an option that they have, how do you handle that person that comes in for consultation? Well, first, before a patient even arrives, we review their records and make sure that we have all the information that we need. A lot of times someone has started their journey with their primary care provider and then they may have imaging or a biopsy result. So we collect that information and we'll do an intake review within our multidisciplinary team before a patient even comes on campus. You say multidisciplinary team. What does that involve what, when you say that? So there's an internal multidisciplinary team, which is the uh, physicians as well as the physicists, dosimetrists that are involved in deciding if someone is a good candidate for proton therapy. But there's also physicians that we have on our campus that will come on site to evaluate from different disciplines. So surgery, medical oncology, radiology, pathology, GI physicians, wow. uh, breast cancer. So you've, looked, you've gotten the records beforehand and the person comes in and says, I've had the diagnosis of prostate cancer and I want to hear what your opinion is on how I should get it treated. Sure, and it's important to say that some patients even come in before they're diagnosed. They might have an elevated PSA or sometimes just a family history that they're concerned about. A PSA would be a prostate-specific prostate. antigen. It is. Uh, that can be elevated in several different things, but if it's rising, we worry about prostate cancer. We do, but it's important that the viewers know that when an elevated uh, PSA is found, often by a primary care provider, it's most often not cancer. So definitely right. take a deep breath and know that it's typically going to be inflammation of the prostate or some other condition. So that would certainly be good news. So back to the consultation, the patient comes in the room and says, I think I've got prostate cancer, my PSA is elevated, and what do you tell them? So if they're pre-diagnosis, we talk through what could elevate their PSA and lead to a diagnosis of prostate cancer. Our preferred method would be obtaining an MRI to get the soft tissue delineation of the prostate to determine if we can see a cancer. If we can't, we'd go straight to a traditional biopsy. But if we can see a tumor, a lot of times we can do a focused biopsy just of the prostate cancer. 